In other news, we um, also had a milk truck drive into our barn. Have you ever wondered where your milk comes from? I mean, we all know milk comes from cows, but I'm talking how the cows are being treated, who's taking care of them, the ins and outs of these lovely ladies who produce dairy products for us day in and day out. Please join me in my dairy farm kind of life. It is a Thursday evening, five o'clock. The kids and I are heading out to feed calves. I would have liked to be a little bit earlier, but it uh, took about, I would say about 25 minutes to get snow stuff on and out the door today. So um, I'm sure that some of you guys experience that with your kids. And off we go, gonna feed the calves. We had a new calf this morning. I think a bull calf this morning. So I'll go check that calf out. And then we also had a heifer calf yesterday, I believe. And Eddie said it's drinking well from the holder. He fed them this morning. So that's, that'll be good. It'll be a bull calf. A bull calf. Eddie and I are also going to move a couple of older cast into the super, a super hutch, a clean super hutch this evening. So that'll be fun. The super hutches, they can hold three calves, but right now we've just been grouping them in two because um, of the way we've had very few calvings this winter. So we don't really have three calves at a time to put in them. So that's been working out pretty good. They stay warm enough with just the two of them. In other news, we um, also had a milk truck drive into our barn. So the other morning we were having breakfast and um, we noticed the milk truck going down the driveway and I was like, oh, look at the damage on that truck. Like, kind of laughing about it. And then, oh, I wonder where he did that. And then the next day, um, Eddie got a text from his cousin who said, oh, what's the damage on your barn? And Eddie was like, what damage? Then he went out and checked. And there's some damage, I'll show you now. So it's pretty minimal, but you can see here the eaves trough is damaged. And Eddie had Eddie had another name for it, but he said it's gonna have to be replaced. Our newest heifer calf. I'll have to name her. Her name needs to start with a P. Mm. What do you think her name should be? Poppy Pippi. Poppy Pippi? Yeah. How about pick one? Poppy or Pippi? Uh, Pippi. Okay. Pippi. Poppy. Pippi. This is Pippi. No, it's Pippi. Now I have to wash my hands before I train that other bull calf how to drink. Okay, hands are washed. Time to go drop off that other bottle. The calf wasn't even out yet, so now Eddie's brought it outside. I'm gonna go guide him, guide him to his hutch and feed him. Well, I spent much longer than I'd like to admit trying to get that bull calf to drink, but finally he drank the whole bottle, so I'm pleased about that. As you can see, I now need windshield wipers for my glasses as it's raining out here. But it is what it is, and the calves are happy and healthy. That heifer calf I was training is nicely resting. 
having a snooze. She's full. So it's all good. So today we're gonna chop straw for the milk cows and the dry cows. We like chopping straw for feed and then maybe a little bit for bedding for the calf hutches. So the guy that chops their straw is here and he's getting set up. Getting his conveyor out and we're gonna chop it into this sea can here. We chop 15 bales at a time. So we got our straw chopped and it worked really well. This was the first time we did it in a sea can. So we got these two sea cans. I got one for uh, dry corn that I'm gonna grind up. I haven't done any yet. And then the other one for chopped straw. So I got the idea from a friend of mine and it worked really good. So looking forward to using that. A little fairy tale. Once not so long ago in a place with more water than land, Stole one too. Look at, look at that. Hey, hey. <laughs> on Friday night, we went to friends of ours, and of course, we went to check on their sheep. This will be their first lambing season, and they're pretty excited about it. Their first lamb is due any day now. On this side over here, these ones are all confirmed pregnant. The ram, he's separated. Everything seems to hey, big guy. Housing. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Saturday. It's about 9 a.m. here. I have to submit some registrations for calves and a bunch of other bills to pay and all that kind of fun stuff. So, so I'm still learning about um, registrations and registering cattle and all of that. Um, we register them with Holstein Canada, and you can you don't have to register cattle. You can have registered or unregistered cattle. Um, from my understanding, the difference comes down to genetics. If you want to track the genetics of your animals, then you need to register them. However, if you don't mind what the genetics are, you do not need to register them. We like to register them. We, you can breed for all sorts of different things. You can breed for like, if you want a cow, if you see, so we have a robot barn. So if you want cows that have really um, perfectly aligned udders, you can breed for good udders. Now you can breed for if they have horns or not, and that's called polled. So you can breed for polled animals like you can breed for all different sorts of things if you really like healthy feet you could like you could prioritize that so anyway we like to register our cattle and breed for certain things and to do that you need to register them through Holstein Canada and you, you don't have to send a picture with your calf registration but we like to so that if they lose a tag or for whatever reason get mixed up then we can go back to the photo of them as a calf and see what their markings were and make sure that it is the right cow that we're um, linking it to. We've got some board games going on here today on this Sunday afternoon. We have Enchanted Forest, which we got for Christmas. It's a hit. Lila, Lila's, Lila's winning. winning. Oh. And then the younger two wanted to play Sequence for Kids, another one of our favorites. So I'm playing that with the kids. That's an ostrich. There's one right there. And there's one right there. As promised in the last video, here is a bigger peek into the holiday that my mom and I took the kids on. 
It was a hotel in a city about an hour and a half away with a really cool pool, and that's pretty much all we did. Swimming all the time for two nights. Oh, oh there it's over there. Whoa. Look at the water slide. Pretty cool. What did you name that one, Eli? That one's Goldie. Goldie. And the other one, that 